This is a lovely, simple experiment that you can do when you're working on liquids, particularly different liquids, their weights and their densities. This Coke has got sugar in it. Okay. That's Diet Coke and doesn't. Okay. So this one is heavier than that one, as you'll okay. see if you put them both in a, in a tank of water. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's sinking, yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Just Even better, if you put that cup on top of the floating one, the lighter mm -hmm. one, Shall I spoon the sugar? Okay. I'm going to spoon sugar into this cup until it sinks one. to the same depth as the sugary one. You can see we've already yeah. got three, four, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. A bit more or are you there? That's nearly there. It's about halfway down. Yeah. That's 11 spoonfuls. If you take it out, you can show us just how much sugar there is in a can of Coke. I don't know about you, yeah. but I wouldn't have guessed anything like as much as that. When I worked it out from the amount of sugar that it says is in the tin, it works works out exactly, that's exactly how much sugar is in there. But it is surprisingly visual, showing the children just how much it looks like. Yeah, I mean, you wouldn't eat that much sugar, but you do when you drink a can of Coke. Absolutely right. <laughs>